Shipped it back. 1,840 miles. Here's our our slick, the slick 150. Inside and out. We use the whole back seat, which is a huge area, folks. I mean, a huge area. Huge. Just as uh, for clothes, suitcases, and whatnot. So far, so good. 1,800 miles towing. And uh, she made it through unscathed. A little dirty. But we beat her up. And then... Good old Jayco 175 RD. How does she fare after 1800 miles of just banging? Kind of dirty. We fixed the regulator. It was leaking. Oh, the battery bounced over. Dirt. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Tires are okay. I think that tire is a couple of pounds low. Sure feels like it. And the only, only problem we had was right over here. Right over here. Don't you love Roundup, huh? It's right here. We lost that, uh, see the vent there? That one we lost somewhere between Yuba City and and Brandon. No, before Brandon, uh, Ashland. Ashland, Oregon is when we noticed it, pulled over, and I, I made that, had to. And inside, let's take a step inside here. One hand, I don't know. It's kind of tough. All right. Is that fun or what? As you can see, we did fine. Nothing fell, nothing broke. Coffee pot stayed where it was supposed to stay. And back here, oh, look at this. Look at the magnets. Timamook, Bandon, Mount Shasta. Seattle Ferry, Mount St. Helens, Sea Lion, Bandon. Oh, that was Collins Lake. And over here we have Seattle, Seattle, Mount Shasta, St. Helens, Bigfoot Country, the Oregon Beaver State, and I loaf the Tillamook Cheese Factory. <laughs> We were on a magnet hunt. That's it. This is after eight days of living with it. I think we did pretty good. Plenty of space. We love this thing. I know you guys think it's small. But it just it just gives you such a distance between the person sleeping or sitting up here and the person sitting back here watching TV in the morning, making their coffee or whatever. It's a big room for a small trailer. And the kitchen did fine. We only cooked a couple of meals. Hell, we were driving most of the time and eating clams and oysters. Clams and oysters. Clams and oysters. Maybe that's why I was using the word Randy all the time. Anyway, hey, listen. The tape is out. This is just kind of like a ending story. We went 1840 miles. We, uh, we saw all the co uh, coastal uh, sites on... Oregon or as many as we stopped at we were kind of on eight day, eight day rush uh, Went up the Oregon coastline all the way to Astoria Warrington even supposed to be the, the furthest west city and I don't know Oregon Into Seattle for Mother's Day took a ferry across Got we drove through a closed down street. They didn't know what to do with us So they opened up the street and we drove right through it. You'll see that we went to the gum wall, we went to Starbucks, we went on a ferry, and that was by accident, folks, accident. We got on a ferry and headed to a place called uh, Bear, uh, Bremen, Bremerton, and the guy assured us there's camping over there, plus we were in a line, you couldn't turn around, there were cars on all sides of us, so we, we were forced onto this ferry, took it and, and stayed there in, in a hotel. There's no camping over there, none that you can find readily. I came back, spent the day in, in uh, Seattle Fish Market. I think it's called Pike's Market. Um, two cruise ships came in, 8,500 with one, 6,500 with the other. 
and the place was packed, just packed. There was two stabbings, one stabbings we saw. I mean, we were right down. We are sitting at Starbucks, not the original. We saw the original Starbucks, but there was another one right around the corner. We were sitting there. Guy comes up, said he was stabbed. We didn't believe him. And, uh, and all of a sudden, all the trucks, police, police on bikes, undercover cops, everything. They closed down the fish market. They roped it off, and the guy was hauled away. Uh, and then I walked over there. You'll see it. I got it on tape. And uh, got there after they washed down the blood. And, and as I was walking through there, another uh, stabbing happened down the street. So they were telling everyone to, you know, shelter in place and evacuate, evacuate. And I walked right into the center. <laughs> anyway, that was our trip. So we did fine. This 175 towed like a champ. One part, and you'll see that too, we got hit with gale winds. I mean, I had to pull over for two hours. I gave it up. Um, and it, it swayed a little bit, but that's about it. Other than that, it is a rabbit. You don't even feel it. And you scoot around, you'll see where, you'll see where I was taking it. It was just incredible. So, thanks for coming along. And we, uh, I hope you watch it. Just get some popcorn. Start right after this one, and just go through them. Just if you're heading up that way, this will help. And if you aren't heading up this way, well, it's still entertaining. So from Cal Root Peg and wife, known as the Lost RVers, we will see you on the next trip, which will be shortly. I think it's a concert, dry camping at a resort, and uh, just having some fun times. All right, you guys. We will see you later. And just to let you know, whenever you go anywhere, get those magnets. They're wonderful. Bye.